This is part 24 of Link Tutorial. In this video, we'll discuss implementing left outer join in Link. With inner join, only the matching elements are included in the result set. Non-matching elements are excluded from the result set. With left outer join, all the matching elements plus all non-matching elements from the left collection are included in the result set. Let's understand this with an example. Let's flip to Visual Studio. Here I have a new console application to which I have already added department and employee classes. These are the same classes that we worked with in the previous session. Notice that here we've got two departments and with an employee class we've got five employees. Notice that here Mary does not have a department associated with her. Now what we want to do is left join this employees collection with departments collection. Now when we do a left join we know that we will be able to retrieve all the elements from the left collection irrespective of whether they have a matching element within the right collection or not. So in this case we should be able to include all the employees within the result set. Now in the output what we want is employee name and and their respective department name. Now since Mary does not have a department associated with her, we want to print a message saying no department against her name. So let's see how to achieve this. So within the main method, first let's create a variable to hold the result. Let's call it result. So from en employee dot get all employees. So this is going to give us the list of employees and here this is going to be our left sequence which we want to left join with departments. So we are going to use the join keyword join d in department dot get all departments. So here our list of employees is going to be our left collection and list of departments is going to be our right collection. Now we need to specify the join condition. So on e dot department id equals d dot id. And what we want to do with the results of this join is project them into a group and let's call the group e group from the n e group dot default if empty. So what is this going to do? Now we know that some of the employees are not going to have departments associated with them. If that's the case, we want to return the default for the department for such employees. Now what is department type? It's a reference type. And we discussed this default if empty method in detail in one of our previous video sessions. This method is going to return null for a reference type, right? So if an employee does not have a department associated with him, then we will get null. So now what we want to do is project an anonymous type and specify the properties that we want in that type. So all we want is the employee name and their respective department name. So let's include those two properties, employee name equals e dot name and department name equals d dot name. And now let's use a for each loop. So for each where we end the result what we want to do is print the employee name and the respective department name. So v.employee name, let's print a tab space and then the department name. So now when we run this, notice that it prints the first four employees without any problem, but when it gets to the last employee, that is Mary element, it's throwing null reference exception, object reference not set to an instance of an object. Why is that? That's because if you look at Mary, she does not have a department associated with her. So in this case, D will be null. And then we are invoking a property on that null object. So it is going to throw that null reference exception. So to avoid that, what we need to do is check that object for null. If it's null, you know, we want to print this message, no department against her name. So D equals null. If that's true, then print this word no department else print the department name so now when we run this notice that we get the output so here notice that Mary record is also included in the result set irrespective of she uh, in spite of she not having a matching element within a department's collection so this is effectively a left join and here we are using SQL like syntax. Now let's see how to rewrite this query using extension methods. So from employee, I mean employee dot get all employees. Now when we want to do a left outer join using extension method syntax, then we use group join method. So 
dot group join. So we want to group join employees collection with departments collection. So in this case, employees collection is going to be our outer sequence and departments collection is going to be our inner sequence. So department dot get all departments. And then we need to specify the outer key selector, inner key selector, and then the result selector. We discussed all these parameters in detail in one of our, I mean, in our previous video sessions. So our outer key selector is going to be E dot department ID and inner key selector is going to be D dot ID. And then finally, we need to specify our result selector. So we know that we are going to get back employee objects and departments. So what we want to do is project them into a new anonymous type with the same objects, AMP and the departments. Okay. So now what we want to do is achieve the left outer join. So for that, we are going to use select many. So now what we are going to get back is list of employees and their departments, right? So Z such that, now we know that some of the employees are not going to have departments associated with them. In that case, you know, we want to return the default for the department. Again, we are going to use default FMT extension method. So Z such that Z dot departments are going to be empty for some of the employees, in which case we want the default to be returned. So we use default FMT method. And now we need to specify our result selector. So what we want in the result is let's say we get back A and B. So we want to project them into a new anonymous type. And within the anonymous type, we want those two properties, employee name, that equals a dot amp dot name and department name equals b dot name. So that's our department object. Now we know that department can be null for some of the employees, so we need to check for null, so b equals null. If that's the case, print no department, else print the name of the actual department. Let's run this now. So we get the same output. So here we're using extension method syntax. So in order to achieve left outer join uh, with extension method syntax style, we use group join, select many, and default if empty. That's it for today. Thank you for listening. Have a great day.